Russians on Wednesday commemorated the millions of people sent to prison camps by the late Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin, marking the day of victims of political repression, the anniversary of the so-called Great Purge of 1937. A service was held and candles lit at the Church of New Martyrs and Confessors, at the Butovo site south of Moscow, where firing squads executed thousands of people during the height of Stalin's purges. The Butovo firing range was used for executions from 1930 until after Stalin's death in 1953. Some 20,000 people, including priests and artists, were killed there in 1937-38 alone. In Russia's far eastern city of Magadan, mourners gathered at the Mask of Grief monument for a commemoration ceremony, where names of known victims were read out. The monument is located at a former transit point through which all prisoners were sent to the camps of the region. A campaign of massive political repressions which occurred in the 1930s affected various parts of society, diverse ethnic groups, and different professions, from peasants to high-ranking government and military officials. Modern historical studies estimate a total number of around 1 million of purge deaths in 1937-38 alone. The reprisals continued almost unabated until Stalin's death in 1953. Яков Владимир Алексеевич. Янч Рельгорд Карлович. Эпифанов Алексей Иванович. 
Яраулин Николай Ильич, Ергин Георгий Филиппович. Брат моей мамы был репрессирован в 1938 году. Он был арестован и с момента ареста и до исполнения приговора всего месяц прошел, как его не стало. Ему 25 лет было. Родителям, родственникам не говорили, просто его арестовали. Ну, как обычно, тогда арестовывали молча. Вот. Ну, так догадывались, что ну, сказали, что не ищите его нет. Такой день который для... Он сложный. Он сложный, и количество людей, которые погибли здесь, оно просто огромное. Вот. Хочется почтить памятью этих людей, эту дату. В области неразрывно связанного с сегодня одним из таких дней, The Bug Sky Guard under the Ukrainian Armed Forces, jointly with the employees of the main intelligence department, have targeted the positions of the invading Russian army on the Kinban Peninsula on the Black Sea coast. Using various weapons, including artillery, the fighters targeted the houses where the invaders gathered. Houses were destroyed by successive strikes, and the Russian servicemen there were killed.